Hello everyone, today our group will be talking about homogeneous catalysts. Homogeneous catalysts are in the same phase as the reactants and usually involve the change in oxidation number. Moreover, the experiment would go through a two-step reaction where when we draw it on an energy level diagram, two bumps can be seen. Homogeneous catalysts can be used in many instances in the oxidation of atmospheric sulfur dioxide using atmospheric oxides of nitrogen. We will focus on how nitrogen 4 oxide can be used to oxidize sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide, as we know, is produced from the burning of fossil fuels that is oxidized to acid free using the equation SO2 plus 1 over 2O2, which results in SO3. This reaction is oxidized using nitrogen 4 oxide. Following this equation, uh, in the first reaction, the nitrogen dioxide is reduced to nitrogen oxide before it gets oxidized again back to nitrogen dioxide in the second reaction. Next, we will focus on how iron 2 plus or iron 3 plus ions can be used to catalyze the reaction of oxidizing iodide ions to iodide using persulfate ions. Since both these ions have a negative charge, a high activation energy is needed to allow these two to overcome repulsive forces. In the first reaction, iron 3 plus ion is reduced to iron 2 plus ion by, by the iodide ion. In the second reaction, iron 2 plus ion is oxidized back to iron 3 plus ion by the persulfate ion. In both these reactions, the order of reaction does not matter, so we can interchange reaction 2 to reaction 1 and vice versa. However, to predict if catalysis is possible, standard electrode for the reactions involving the catalyst should lie between the electrode potentials. With that, thank you for listening to our video about homogeneous catalysts and hope you guys learned something new.